Ladies and gentlemen, today we have found the rarest build in NBA 2K22, but first, I want to show you guys my build that I've been using. It is actually insane, the amount of badges, the amount of attributes, and everything I get on this build, and if we get to 10 likes on this video, I will show you guys this exact build and how I got this many badges on this build because I guarantee you cannot figure out how I did it. So. Right here, I got my two-way threat. Now, you guys are going to be astonished by how many fucking badges I get on this build, all right? So first, guys, I'm just going to go into this right here. Look at the top right. Look how many badges this build gets. 24 finishing. But this is where it's even more crazy, okay? We have 37 badge points available for our shooting. Guys, to get 40 badges, okay, you have to have 99 three-point and 99 mid-range. But as you guys are going to see, I have nowhere near a 99 on either one of those, okay? Playmaking, we have 30, which is still crazy. We get Hall of Fame quick first step, and then this is where it really gets interesting. We can get gold clamps, gold pickpocket, gold menace, gold interceptor. We have 19 defensive badges. Now, if this interests you enough, leave a like on the video. Again, if we get to 10 likes, I will post this build video. I'm not gonna show you guys the attributes or the height or anything because again, you gotta leave a like for that. So, let's get into the Jack of All Trades video, which is the rarest build. So here guys, we have the Jack of All Trades build, which I believe to be the rarest build in NBA 2K. I've literally not seen one person with this build and it's actually kinda crazy the amount of badges and the attributes that it gets. So let's take a look at them. First off, Need to be a small forward, doesn't matter any of the other stuff. Next, you have to be 6'7 with 180 pounds with a 7'4 wingspan and the body shape obviously doesn't matter. I know you guys don't wanna see me click around on these attributes, so here they are guys. You can copy them if you want. Um, I'm just gonna go over a little bit of his badges. Now, I find this build to be super close to how a Michael Jordan build or a Kobe Bryant build would play. He can really do everything. Now he doesn't really excel at anything. He can just do a little bit of everything, which obviously the name is Jack of all trades. So obviously that's gonna be the case. But here you can get back down Punisher, Dream Shake Hall of Fame, Drop Stepper Hall of Fame, which is actually crazy for a six seven build. You can be playing a guard and just bully other smaller guards in the post and you can get mouse in the house like i said limitless takeoff still on gold with um slithery finisher gold i mean you can you can get post riser on silver which is actually pretty insane this year with a skill stick like if you can time it good you can still poster on people i mean he only gets an 84 driving dunk which i believe can get you the pro contact dunks I'm pretty sure it can get you the pro, but shooting, you can get limitless spot up, silver, pretty much all the good badges, you can get silver. And you also get sniper hall of fame, which is actually an OPS badge this year. So he also gets 23 playmaking. He gets space creator on gold, tight handles, stop and go, triple threat juke, which is actually, I heard pretty good this year too. I mean, he just, he gets everything. He gets box hall of fame, pogo stick hall of fame, chase down artist pickpocket i mean he has great defense and then he doesn't have crazy speed crazy acceleration but 82 will work um doesn't have a lot of stamina but that's fine if you're gonna be playing a bigger guard anyway i don't think you need that much stamina but yeah he doesn't have a lot of strength but again you can get back down punisher on hall of fame so well, let's move on to the takeovers now. We, um, I put limitless range on this build, which is actually pretty insane that it gets it because I think it only has a 79. Hang on, let's go back. Yeah, it only has a 79 three-pointer, and it can get limitless range takeover, which is pretty freaking crazy. But what makes this build insane is that it can get post takeover. I considered putting this as my primary because that's actually insane. A 6-7 build with a 7-4 wingspan. I mean, you're gonna be unstoppable. Even for big guys, I mean, it's gonna be a little bit hard to stop you, but against guards as a 6-7 build, this it's impossible to stop. So I consider this putting primary. You can do whatever you want. I thought limitless range would be a little bit more OP. I mean, he's already got so many Hall of Fame post badges that, I mean, I don't think you would need advanced post moves, but you can do whatever you want, like I said. 
Um, and yeah, this is the Jack of All Trades build. Again, it says shades of Scottie Pippen, Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler. I think it's more like a Kobe or Michael Jordan build. You know, they're not, they weren't crazy speed and dribbling and all that. They were, you know, slower paced post players that could shoot and dunk and do everything kind of. You know, you can't really make a crazy demigod build in this game. So I, I feel like this is a pretty damn good one for an all-around build. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Again, if we get to 10 likes, I will be doing a video on my build where I have 37 shooting badges with 20... F all that crazy shit. Um, I encourage you guys to try to make my build. Um... It's actually impossible, so that's why I want to um, make a build video on it because um, you guys will have no idea how I did it without me telling you. So, yeah, guys, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Again, we're on the road to 500 subscribers. If we could do that this, this video, that would be awesome. I mean, if this video gets 50 views, if 50 of you guys hit that sub button, we're there. So, <laughs> yeah, guys, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out. I love you all.